shoes Denim Sean White <laughs>to be discussing the age gaps in dating. We will be highlighting men dating younger women. 73% of my viewer audience said that as a man, they would prefer to date a younger woman. Even more startling than that audience, men are now dating women who are underage. 63% of men have admitted to dating an underage girl. Really? That's nasty. Alright audience, so let's hit my research lab so we can really get to the bottom of this. Guys, now that we're in my lab, we're going to look at some data, we're going to have some real life accounts, and we're even going to have my special correspondent hit the field to see if she can find some opinions. Guys, I know this is scary, but we need to just jump in so everyone can get the facts. And now guys, what I did was have my field correspondents go out and ask men and women what they thought about these issues. And I have a chart right here. But first, let me get the lights. Alright guys, now I'm going to warn you that these results are going to be very shocking. Alright guys, these were the males that we polled. And these males think it is okay to date an underage and younger woman. And these males find it a little inappropriate. And drastically different is the female perspective. These are the only females that think it is okay to date an underage or younger woman. These women all find it very inappropriate. What we're going to do now is go to my field correspondent, Rafika, and see if she has any of the same results that we do here in the field. Oh, I think she's got something. We were wondering if we could ask you a question. Okay. We were wondering what your thoughts were on older men dating younger girls. Let's say, even if they are illegal age-wise. Illegal? That's nasty. That is nasty. As far as I'm concerned, the younger the better. All I do is I just reverse the age. She's 12, she's 21. She's 13, she's 31. A little milf action, you know what I'm saying? But let's get another female perspective. Ma'am, what do you think? Oh, uh, so like older men and like younger women? Mm -hmm. Disgusting. Ew. Sir, what do you think about it? Barely legal. Barely a problem. <laughs> know what I'm saying? Alright guys, so as you can see from my on-field reporter Rafika, our numbers and opinions represent what's going on in the real world. Even if you are a little weary of our results, we also have a first-hand account from someone who has been through the situation of being too young for a guy. Tonight you're going to get a first-hand account of a young lady who's been faced with this very, very tragic issue. Being discarded from her relationship with an older man. I was dating him in the sky. He was really great. I thought everything was perfect. But his family and friends started warning him of all the signs they were seeing. The young lady proclaimed that throughout the relationship, she had several people questioning the age and maturity of their relationship. Truly a tragic, tragic experience. What are you wearing that for? Look like you've been shopping the kids out us. What are you, a damn candy cane? What are you talking about? My mom got me these. I love these. Oh, I can't believe you don't like this outfit. But you know what? I love it just as much as I love my teddy bears. I sleep with it every night. Excuse me. They're saying too. Later on in the story, she mentioned how more than one time, not once, not twice, but three times, age came into question. There was this show named Duke. He was so obsessed with it. Like everyone knew what Duke was. I don't know. I recorded a TV show that I think that you love because everyone our age loves it. Really? Yeah, it's pretty oh, cool. This is going to be good. It is. Thank you. 
Though as tragic as this story may seem, it's becoming a much more common theme among dating teens these days. 12 year olds to 20 year olds, 13 year olds to 30 year olds. What's next? 14 year olds to 40 year olds? I think not. This is Robbie, Red, White, and Blue, reminding you to always vote, water your plants, feed your pets, and most importantly, keep your 12 year olds safe. Thank you, Robbie, Red, White, and Blue. It was such a terribly tragic story, but thank her for sharing that with us. And does anyone know why the story ended in heartbreak? Well, I will show you. But I'm going to tell you for real, like we do on this show, because we're keeping it real. The reason she got dumped was because she was too young for you. And for all you fools who didn't pay attention to this last hour, I got some more examples for you. If she's writing letters to Santa Claus, her ass is too young for you. If she did not know Pluto used to be a planet, her ass is too young for you. If she's still writing on big ass paper, practicing her cursive, she's too young for you. And then for those of you fools who didn't watch my show, have your friend tell you about my show, or DVR my show, you're going to need this number, 1-800-BRO-HELP, because you might be getting locked up. This is Celia, keeping it real. What is that? What are you wearing? What the fuck are you wearing? Are you kidding me? Even more start out. Even more start out. <laughs> Isn't it just great? Shit, I was gonna say it right this time. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. Time to get a few more. Oh. Twelve-year-old, and that's how you know. Oh, the cat was there.